So I've come to the conclusion that your life sucks when you don't have more than three Mika songs on your iPod. Especially when you don't have Grace Kelly, that's just the epitome of awful. Anyway, sorry, our topic today is science. Today, this month, is science. And I want to talk about two things. Space and evolution. What always blows my mind is the fact that in the very center of our Milky Way galaxy is a black hole. Now you know what black holes are, they're those things you can't see but you can only see the matter around them being warped and that's hence why they're called black holes. So that's in the middle of our Milky Way galaxy. It's, it's dormant at the moment so it's not exactly eating planets and solar systems but in the near distant future by near distant future, I mean the distant future, we, this Milky Way galaxy, are going to collide with another galaxy that is much bigger than ours. This means that A, it will start up the black hole in the middle of our galaxy again and start it churning. B, if there are any humans left on the Earth, they could look up into the night sky and see six different moons. And C, the Earth could be smashed to smithereens by colliding with another planet. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the second thing is evolution. What I find incredibly interesting is when there were both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens on the Earth at the same time, the one thing that set them apart was the Homo sapiens' ability to imagine, their imagination. The Neanderthals were fine, they had their short-range tools and they ate their semi-cooked meat, but that was about it. What set them apart was the Homo sapiens ability to imagine things, whereas the, the Neanderthals with their short-range weapons and their semi-cooked meat were a bit ancient, whereas Homo sapiens were able to imagine new tools and inventions. They were able to anticipate the consequences of their actions. This meant that say they were attacked by a group of Neanderthals, they would be able to formulate a plan of how they would attack them and how they would escape. And they'd also be able to realise things like, if I shoot a saber-toothed tiger with a spear from a short range, that thing's not going to die straight away. It's going to jump on me and I'm going to get killed. So they think, okay, maybe if I formulate a lighter, longer spear, I could throw it from further distance. Or I could come up with a bow and arrow and shoot it from an even further distance. Whereas the Neanderthals just thought, food, sharp thing, stab, oop, lost a couple men in the hunting mission, doesn't matter, everyone will just survive. And they didn't, they died out, and that's why Homo sapiens, us, are still on the earth today. And I find that incredibly cool, that the reason the human race is what it is today is because we were able to imagine things. That's what set us apart, and I think that's... Pretty darn cool.